Good evening everyone, this is CJ Peaceful. And I've got a, I want to do this video because I've got a, I'm a bit perplexed. Uh, it could be just because it's late in the evening and it's been a long day at work, but um, I just posted a video recently showing um, an update on the uh, plastic coat that I applied to uh, a stainless steel plate and constructed a very small cell with a total surface area, I believe it was like 30 square inches. It was constructed of, uh, again, like I said, three plates, uh, one, uh, you know, a positive, negative, and then a neutral plate. Uh, the plates are separated by approximately um, half an inch. Um, and I, I, sh I posted some results um, of some tests I ran uh, just to really get a feel of how the plastic coat will perform under electrolysis and um, in that video um, I showed those results on paper like I'm showing you now and what I thought I would do is take this cell that I've shown in other videos and test it um, and see what kind of results I can get out of it. Now what I've done is as you've seen in other videos is the same uh, cylindrical tube that I constructed out of a, um, acrylic and what I've done recently is I basically um, uh, added two probes if you will <coughs> to the tube uh, going through the tube on either side uh, which allowed me to connect various cells to those points using alligator clips uh, which are attached to some wires and then of course to the cell itself and what I've got up here is just a, uh, it's a temporary stock that you'd find in your plumbing section in the local hardware store. Um, this is made for a three inch diameter uh, clean out. And basically it's through compression. As you tighten down this wing nut, uh, this compresses the two pieces of plastic and the, plast and the uh, rubber gasket stretches out. And, forms a tight seal. So uh, I've got an airtight container here and then what I did is I ran a tube from that, bypassed my bubbler, um, and went into this testing apparatus that I constructed of PVC and and uh, a little bit over five milliliter um, soda bottle. And I put markings on here designating uh, how many liters uh, displaced of water. Um, to show me what's going on throughout the test. But what I've done here is I went ahead and, and ran some, some tests on this and uh, again I'm just I'm a little perplexed here and it's simply because I don't understand what's going on and why I'm getting these results. Um, my first test I ran uh, I measured uh, 10.6 volts across the cell. When I say I measured it, is I, I actually didn't take the voltage reading from the uh, jumper cables. I took it from the two leads here that go directly into the cell. Um, uh, and that gave me 10.6 volts and uh, at 10 amps or roughly or 106 watts. Um, to displace 250 milliliters of water, it took me a minute and seven seconds, or 67 seconds to do. I increased my electrolyte, um, ran the test again, this time my voltage dropped to 9.7, but my amps increased to 14 which gave me a total of 135.8 watts um, and to displace the 250 milliliters it took me a minute and eight seconds one second more than the previous test okay ran the test again this time I added more electrolyte um, my voltage was 9.65 my amps were at 14.5, so I increased my amp 
amps by half an amp, uh, which brought my wattage up to 139.9 watts, and it took one second longer. So as you can see, it's taking longer to produce the same amount of gas with higher amps, but lower voltage. Now, I understand Ohm's law. There's, there's, it's a give and take situation here. You, um, you, you typically can get more, more amps at a lower voltage um, versus um, higher voltage and, and lower amps. I, I, I get that. I understand that. But what I'm not understanding here is, and, and I'm sure I'm just missing something here, like I said. I went then and did one more test and thought, well, let's see if I can lower the amperage and see what kind of results I get. See what happens then and see what kind of direction I'm going. I um, apologize if this is a little difficult to see in the camera, but uh, I ran the test again. Uh, this time I measured uh, 10.65 volts across the cell and only 7 amps or 74.5. 5, 5 watts. It took a minute and 10 seconds to displace 250 milliliters of water. Um, so that tells me, and I could be wrong, but it seems like this cell here that I've constructed is most efficient. Um, between somewhere between 10 and 11 volts and somewhere between 7 and 10 amps. Um, I don't know. Is that true or not? I don't, again, I don't know enough to say um, whether that's true or not, but I hear a lot about uh, efficiency and I'm all for it. Obviously, I've stated that many times before in my videos, but uh, if that's the case, then I think what I'm going to do is start playing with the spacing of this cell. Um, maybe I can improve the output. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but I did, I did go ahead one time and increase my um, solution. Added them a lot more electrolyte in the test. And, uh, that final test there was uh, uh, measured 9.32 volts across the cell at 18 amps, or 167.76 watts. Um, I was able to displace the 250 milliliters of water at roughly one minute and one second. So, anyway, if somebody could uh, clue me on what's going on and what these numbers mean. Um, before you say, oh, you're just batteries are being drained. I've got two batteries here, as you can see, uh, tied together. Um, it does produce, at the terminals, 12.08 uh, volts consistently. So, it's not the batteries. But anyway, clue me in. I need some help. Thanks for watching.